Okay, so this is our recipe to make homemade Play-Doh. And specifically it says not to eat because this Play-Doh that we make has a lot, a lot, a lot of salt in it. So the um, ingredients are one cup of flour, a half a cup of salt, one cup of water, one tablespoon of oil, the capital T is tablespoon, two teaspoons of cream of tartar and food coloring. And since we're making green Play-Doh, we need yellow and blue uh, food coloring. And then I also like to add some scent. So we are going to add some mint extract because it's green um, to our green Play-Doh. Okay, so let's start putting our ingredients into the saucepan. We have a big one here. I'm gonna pour in one cup of water. This is a one cup, okay? Now it says a half a cup of salt. Here's the salt. And again, as I told you, it's very, very salty to make this. Okay, so I'm going to put a half a cup of regular salt into my pot. Now I need one cup of flour. And you always scrape it to make it flat. I'm just gonna use the edge of this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, one tablespoon of oil, regular vegetable oil. Okay. Two teaspoons of cream of tartar. And of course, I don't have this already open, so I will open it right now. This I get on Amazon. There are recipes and I will include one to make Play-Doh without cream of tartar, but I find that it works the best to use this kind of recipe. And we need two teaspoons. Flatten it out. One, two. And then we don't add the food coloring until it's cooking on the stove. So we're gonna move it to the stove now. Okay, so I've moved over to the stove and remember that anytime you're working with a stove, you need the supervision of a grown-up. I am very much a grown-up, so I am going to do this myself. I'm putting it on medium heat and I'm going to stir. And you're going to see the dough start to come together. I'm going to blend all of the ingredients up here. Now, when I make different batches of Play-Doh, I keep it the neutral color and then I add the food coloring and the scents later so that I can make different ones. But today we're only making green and we're only making mint, so we're gonna add it in the pot. They say that you'll know when the Play-Doh is ready, it pulls away from the side and it starts to look kind of um, dulled not shiny. We stir it constantly. Okay, so we're gonna put in a little bit of this teal color and then see what we need to add to make it more green. Oh, you can see that it's starting to pull away from the sides and get thicker. It's quite blue right now. Now all of my students, think back to your color knowledge. How do we make green? Let's ask my trusty assistant. Mr. Max Handler, how do we make green? Um, isn't it, blue, isn't the, it blue and yellow? It is blue <laughs> and yellow. And so far we have the blue. So we will add oh. that pretty soon. Let's add a couple of drops here. See what green color we can get. So when it's solid and it looks like Play-Doh, you ask your grown-up to remove it from the heat and let it cool a little bit because it's very hot on your hands. When you can finally touch it, move it in little batches here over two 
you are either wax paper or aluminum foil or something that you're gonna work and play on. Now, sometimes I add the um, flavor or the scent while it's on the stove. I'm gonna add it just right now here and blend it in. It's a nice minty smell and it's good to get it on your hands. It smells delicious. Max, can you blend all of that together? Get yeah. some nice mint in the Play-Doh. <laughs> Okay, so now our Play-Doh is nice and cool. It's a beautiful green shade. It smells delicious like mint. And Max, who is our uh, tester here, is going to make his very own green eggs and ham. Now, remember that there is no right way to do this. There is no wrong way, there is no right way. So make your green eggs and ham however you'd like. Try it, Sam I am. <laughs>